great color. The broadbands in this area are very pretty. Here's another look at this beautiful Western coach whip. Is this your first Western? Yeah. Nice. Not something you want to get bit by, so we are taking precautions to stay far enough away from them. It's another beautiful day in Central Texas. Herp Hi, Sarah. Herping. Hi. We're gonna try and find some snakes. My friends don't herp, so we'll be uh, taking them along on the adventure and see if we can find some snakes, get them on their first snakes. We'll see how it goes. Look what we have here. Nice big board. Mm. No snakes. Just some bugs. Oh, what is that? Cricket? Nah, I thought that sock was for a second. There is like the biggest green and all I've ever seen in my life right there on top of that branch. Holy cow. I'm gonna try to get a little closer. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that thing is huge. I've seen some big ones, but yeah, he's a big boy. Probably pretty old. You can see he's right in the sunlight, trying to absorb some of that heat. Um, it was a bit cold this morning, which makes sense. That's why he's out here absorbing some uh, sunlight. Oh, he's bobbing his head. You see him bobbing his head? That's cool. I think he's telling us uh, we're in his territory. We just got here to this park, new park I've never been to before. And this is our first real herp of the day, but not a bad start. Got green and all number two. He's kind of far right there. Just barely see him hanging out in that branch. Sweet. The lizards are out. Welcome back to the channel. We are in a pristine swamp today in central Texas. Gonna be looking around for copperheads, timber rattlesnakes. And any other cool stuff we could find. So well, let's get out there. I won't talk anymore. I will see you guys soon. Check out this ancient rotting tree stump I just found. This is the kind of place where I want to see a snake hanging out in the bottom. Hasn't happened to me yet, but I know it does happen, so keeping my hopes high. All right, so I was moving next to this little marsh right here, and I heard this girl rustling around in the palmettos. Look at that, first snake of the day. This is a an adult female broadbanded water snake. It's out here just taking a drink of water, and I do dove on her in these palmettos, but <laughs> she's not too happy with me. Great color. The broadbands in this area are very pretty. And at this size, for her to have that kind of color, not that common in a lot of areas, so it's pretty cool to see. Check her out. She's not too happy with me, so briefly take uh, some footage, a couple of pictures, and then we'll let her go right here where I found her. So pretty, though. Check that out. Okay. One more look at this broadbanded water snake, Neurodia fasciata confluens. One of my favorite subspecies, I would say. They really get pretty here in Texas. You get them in like Louisiana uh, as well, but I think the ones in Texas are a lot prettier. Just got some great oranges, yellows, blacks. It's pretty cool. All right, we're going to let her go, but here's one last look. Hope you guys enjoyed her. All right, letting this beautiful broadband of water snake go. This is about where I saw her taking some drinks out of the stream. So here she goes. Let's watch her go. That's so cool. She's kind of raising her head. Uh-huh. 
She's like, I'm big and bad. I'm and <laughs> I promise I'm venomous. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Awesome. First snake. Hopefully that means good things. And snakes are out. All right, let's keep moving. So we decided to switch things up a little bit. We weren't having too much luck flipping. Uh, we did get that broadband and water snake um, while hiking around a little bit, but we're gonna see if anything's crossing the road, head down this road a little bit and see how things go. All right, so quick little update, no herps since that broadband and water snake, but look how pretty these flowers are. It's that time of year when things are really starting to come out early spring. The snakes are eluding us though for the most part. All right, so the snakes have been few and far between so far, but we got this little, I'm, I'm assuming it's another uh, prairie lizard. I only just found my lifer on a recent trip with Miles, but I just saw this little guy here hanging out on a trail in a different area. First one I've seen in this area. Actually, I think we saw one earlier, a bit bigger, but this is definitely the first one we got our hands on. He's lacking the blue on the belly like that adult was that we found. They're so pretty though. Cute little lizards. Uh, same genus as these Texas spiny lizards we're used to seeing near Austin, uh, but this is a bit different. I forget the exact scientific name, but it is definitely in the Scalabrous genus. Cute. It's not nothing crazy, but we got a little rougher snake right here, just hanging out under a board. Super common species, so I'll give you a quick little look. But that's a snake, and I'm gonna put him back. Look at that. Been a little while since we've seen one of these. Young checkered garter snake. Very cool. He looks like he's in shed. He's a little dark. Probably getting ready to shed out here within the next week or so. Cute little guy. He did bite Miles a couple of times, but he's just squirmy now. Really don't see these that often. They're supposed to be common, but they seem to elude me. Awesome. Getting some tacos. Okay, so. Alright. Oh no. He lost his tail. Got a little Mediterranean, I think. House got go. Miles just got a whip snake. And I just saw a western diamondback crawl up under this. Oh, there's a huge scorpion. We're under it, we're next to a, uh, actually behind a McDonald's and a gas station right now. Just found a random stack of tin and there's just like all kinds of life hanging out under the stack right here. Look at him. Um, there is definitely a rattlesnake under here, so we're going to carefully flip this, but check out this, whip, uh, this uh, coach whip. Heck yeah. stop a coach a rattlesnake at least one good find good catch i didn't see him <laughs> he about slipped away oh, yeah. um i'm gonna grab the let this little uh mediterranean gecko go and then we're getting ready to lift the rest of this here's another look at this beautiful western coach whip is this your first western yeah Nice. Miles is life for Western Coach Whip. Decent size. They do get a bit larger, actually quite a bit larger than this, but that's still a really good looking snake. Pretty relaxed too. They can be pretty even bite. pretty feisty at times, yeah. Didn't even bite Miles, so how cool. I'm gonna grab some pictures and then we'll flip through the rest of that tin and see what else is under there. Alright, so we got out this uh, Western Diamondback that we found somewhat. Miles is working with him right now. I'm trying to calm him down a bit. Good size Western Diamondback. 
not something you want to get bit by so we are taking precautions to stay far enough away from him I'm actually going to back up so I'm not in the straight range and probably let him go on his way from here. Andrew, do you want to help me slowly let yep. lower, the, lower this tin? Thank you. We're going to lower this tin slowly back in there. It honestly amazes me how something like a gas station with people constantly coming through there, super busy, can have you know some trash around it with snakes under it and meanwhile everybody coming through the gas station does not realize it whatsoever uh you can find life in some pretty interesting places sometimes but that was pretty awesome and always you know unexpected to see things like that in um you know areas where there's human development that was pretty cool i mean a coach whip and a diamondback um just in you know a few minutes of flipping through some stuff if you guys want to see more types of content like that where we're you know going to these areas where there's different construction and still able to find animals like gas stations or you know maybe convenience stores I honestly like kind of like making that content it's kind of fun to see them in like unexpected places uh so let me know if you want to see stuff like that and let me know if you want to see us go back to more swamps like we did here uh, towards the beginning of the episode. And anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I'll be coming out with a new episode hopefully every week. And we'll go from there. But we'll see you guys next time.